Howdy y'all, this is the last episode of The Warriors. And this is your boy Beast of Mind. So, as you can see, um, you're probably wondering what the hell happened to The Warriors. Well, let me explain it to you. Um, okay. So, when I first crew- Okay, you have to look back to the first episode when I did the intro. Um, bitch, don't you be hitting me. Anyways, um, I will hit you again, keep playing. Okay, so yeah, the first episode, um, I made was of hard mode. I picked hard soldier, um, anyway, that's pretty much the hard mode. Once you beat that mode, I'm not sure if you have to beat it 100% or if you have to beat it, you unlock another mode when you start a new pro a new profile. Um, I forget what it's called, but anyways, yeah, so when you choose that, you automatically get to assume the role of the Furies. Um, so yeah, that's why I look like this. You beat hard mode, you start the mission again you do some crazy stuff you know you start a mission then for every mission in the game you are the furies now this episode isn't just me you know showing off the furies it's me talking um, about how I feel about this game I think every LP, every like person that does LP need, needs like to explain like why they picked the game and you know um, I did that to, you know I did that on the first video why I picked this game um, when I explained like you know um, you know, where I bought it and such, but, um, that's a long time, you know, that was a long time ago, that was back in December, so I'm gonna explain it to you, um, yeah, I picked this game because it's, like, one of my favorite Xbox games, if it's not my favorite Xbox game, um, oh my god, like I said, I found this in a, in, um, GameStop used, somebody sold it, I'm like, what were you smoking that you wanted to so oh, you ain't getting no, who said that shit? Oh, you're not getting nobody word. Only thing you're getting is a trip to the damn hospital. You're not messing with war. You're messing with the Furies. Well, actually, you're messing with the war. With the Warriors, just for the Furies. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, I picked this game because, first of all, I love it. It's not too hard to get 100%. And, like, this is a game, like, until, like, I don't know, until, like, I can't play it anymore that I will keep playing it. I will just keep playing it no matter what. Seriously. Um, I already knew when I first started LP that I wanted to do this game, and I want to do it sooner rather than later. Yeah, see, now they want, now they want to beat her ass. Yeah, as the Furious, they will beat anybody that's trying to call the cops. Anyways, um, okay, so, yeah, with that, um, okay, so I'm going to talk about this game, um, I'm going to talk about how I, how I feel about the game. Um, and things they could have did. First of all, I love the game. I love the fact that like it's free roam for the most part. Um, and that's actually part of the gripes I have with this game too. Um, I'm gonna get to the gripes a little bit later. But I love the fact that like the okay, granted throughout the LP the computer has not been that smart, but they've been smart enough. Let me see if I can. Ah, oh, I know you can't do that. Be great if you could. Anyways, um, you know when you're at the music party, you take the hammer and then you see how strong you are. Anyways. So, um, where was I? Well, anyways, yeah, I do like the fact that it's, it's free roam, pretty much, but, um, yeah, I have a gripe about that, too. I also like the fact that the AI is, um, they're smarter than the average AI. Um, even though, like, both games are made by Rockstar, um, I think the AI on this is obviously, because it has to be, it's obviously superior to that of, um, let's say, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I mean, this game and that game is only a year apart, as far as, you know. When it got released, it's only a year, year and a half apart from um, San Andreas. And that was, you know, quite a few years ago. This game came out in 2005. I think that game came out in 2004, I want to say. So, yeah. Um, I think the AI is pretty smart. It's just that sometimes they have, you know, they have problems. Uh, I, I remember several times in San Andreas where they just were not dumb. And you had to babysit them. And when you did, you pretty much died because you had to babysit them. And because they did, you know, stupid stuff in um, San Andreas. But this isn't about that game. Um, I also like the fact that, like, when you go to Rumble Mode, they add pretty much every single character in the game. With one exception. Um, that's another gripe I have about this game. But it's not it's not so big that, you know, um, you know, it's concerning. But, yeah, you could do a lot of stuff if you don't feel like going through the story or, or whatever. Um, Those who don't help go to hell. You yeah, I'm that, helping right? you go to the mortician. Yep. Okay, um, scared the hell out of you, didn't I? Um, 
I know I'm being mean. Um. <laughs> anyways, so yeah, I do like Roman mode. And I like the fact they added a lot of characters. Um. I also have to say, um, as far as the storyline, I'm pretty sure they stayed, you know, true to the movie as much as they can without, you know, fudging up stuff. And yes, I was aware of what ha what would happen to Fox and all that. I'm aware of what happened with this actor when they, you know, when they did the movie and stuff. Oh no, I still love Fox. So he's my favorite warrior. Um. And I think, I don't know, it's something about this game, it's like, you would expect a game made from 2005 but on the Xbox to be a little bit, you know, cornier, but, you know, I think it's a good game. It will definitely keep you busy. If you want to get to 100%, you definitely have to work for it, too. And if you want to unlock this mode with the Furies, um, you're going to have to do a lot of work. Because hard mode is no joke. As well, as I like the fact that, um, you know, what they did with the tags and stuff, that was, you know, that was pretty good, too. Um, I would go and do a mission, but I don't feel like stopping halfway. Just say, okay, well, you know, later or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good game, you know. I know what I can do. I can rob the store, because I know this is pretty boring, you watching me walk around and stuff. Um, like I said, I like the way they handle everything. Um, and also, I'm considering, like, maybe three or four years down the line doing this game again because it does have its share of problems I won't talk about that in this video but there will be another video another um video I will talk about that kind of thing oh my god what is he doing well we knew that was gonna happen it's freaking swan he sucks when it comes to this yeah so the police are gonna come no matter what uh, we're just waiting pretty much so if I get a game over, I don't care. I can talk on the game over screen. <laughs> this isn't the mission, so I don't give a damn. Oh. But um, I'm going to talk about, you know, I kind of want to talk about some gripes. But let me see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I liked. Um, oh, yeah. I like the customization on certain, uh, certain characters, like, like their moves and stuff. You know. And I also like that even though some of the um, extras and all that, even though, you know, even though they're extras, they still have, you know, their own special words and stuff to say, you know. And I definitely love, Rumble Mode is my favorite feat. Did he just do what I think he did? Oh, it's on the floor. Wait, is there still a cop? Oh my god, you guys didn't even take care of the police. I gotta do everything. But, uh, okay, um, I should probably talk about some gripes of the game, and one of the gripes... Some of the, um, gripes is actually, one of the gripes, no, two of the gripes is right here, probably. Um, one of the gripes I have is, okay, you see how we're playing the Furies now? Nowhere else in the game can you play as another gang other than Furies, which is whack. I'm like, why the hell would I want to play just as the Furies? It's like, once you beat the game in a certain mode, you should unlock, you should automatically unlock the right to play the game, you know, as any other game. Regardless of how weak they are or whatever. It just would have been great to add that. I know it probably wouldn't have been able to, it wouldn't be possible, you know, they added all these other features on the game and stuff. But really, it shouldn't have been that impossible that they couldn't, you know, they couldn't do something like that. So yeah, it's like, okay, I can play as a Fury, why the hell can I play as any other game, like, once I beat the game or whatever. And plus, some gangs, they don't even get, like, recognized. Okay. There's no point in running, because I'm going to obviously, um, die here. But, um, all I'm saying is, okay... Why can't I play as any, you know, I, and, I, and this isn't the first game of mine where I pretty much complained about that, uh, that you can't play as another gang or another, you know, player that's in, you know, another, you know, player that's in the game. Um, I had the same kind of complaint about Cool Borders 2. Yeah, that definitely didn't make me happy. I mean, it's one of the things in, the, in this game because it's focused on the Warriors, but I'm like, if you're going to let me play the Furious for beating the mode, I mean, what about everybody else? My second gripe kind of goes with that as far as missions. Why is it that on the same mission I'm stuck with the same warrior? I'm like, if I'm traveling with two warriors, why can't I switch between the two and you just made the game a whole bunch harder? 
And if they do do that, like, okay, for example, um, Mission 12 had, um, who was it? It had, um, what was it? Cochise and, um, I think it was Cochise and Cowboy. Okay, so in that mission with Cochise and Cowboy, why the heck can I, you know, like, switch between the two and then, and then have them penalize me by starting the whole mission over? It just doesn't make any sense. That's why I'm like, okay, you should really make it so I can switch between the two characters. Not cool, game. Not cool. Hey, someone, anyone, get me out of here! Oh my god. Okay, what was my third gripe? Right? I, I I had four of them. Uh, oh yeah, my other gripe is okay. You see how we're in free mo free roam outside of Coney? Okay, this area is fairly small, and the only reason that this is here is through bonus objectives. If there's free roam in Coney, why isn't there in any other place? Or any other borough or anything like that? What the heck is with that? I mean, that's kind of stupid, too. That's really stupid. Call me sometime, sure thing. Oh, yeah. I guess even she knows I rap after the whole, you know, the whole shit went down. Now watch, I'm gonna go to a dealer and he's gonna die because he got hit by the dealer. Um Okay, my last thing is really not a it's really not a how should I say? It's not really a gripe, it's just for completionist purposes. Um because this is the game. This is one of the games I can do hundred percent. Why the hell okay. You have four hundred and sixty nine characters when really it should be like four seventy. Um, granted, I know you can't play Birdie because he's in a wheelchair, but um Okay, about Diego, you can't play as him. I'm like, all you have to do is give him his own combo and take the dang, uh, take that pillar out of his hand. That girder or whatever it is. Oh my god. Legitimacy. Anyways, um. Yeah, um, it's weird. Now that I'm playing, that doesn't fill up his whole meter. But uh, I'm surprised the police didn't, um. Oh yeah, we robbed everything, that's right. They didn't close this place down or anything. But, uh, yeah, so you can't play as Di uh, Diego, which is kind of stupid in my opinion for completionist purposes. It doesn't make sense that you can't use him. All you have to do is take the damn girder out of his hand and shrink and shrink his size down. Lots of, look, lots of games do it. You know, you go, you know, you fight this guy's arrival or enemy or whatever, and then as soon as you get him recruited, he's like a thousand D times weaker than, you know, how he was. I'm like, why don't you just not give him to me then? Seriously? I'm just saying, um, yeah, so those are like, I guess those are my four guys. The fact that you can't choose any gang after you, you know, beat the game, you know, we're clearly playing as the Furies. Um, the fact that you can't switch between warriors or choose even different warriors than, you know, what would be on a mission after you beat the game. Um, the fact that you can't free roam, you can only free roam, free, excuse me, free roam in this area, and like, most of the shops are closed. And the fact that you can't use Diego, which is very small in my opinion, but I'm just saying it is a complaint seeing that you include just about everybody else. I understand you can't play Birdie because he's handicapped. I, I I know that. I mean you can play as freaking Mercy, but you can't play as one of the like most infamous like rival, you know, gangs, you know, bosses and you know in the game, really. But um yeah, those are like my four complaints. Um I don't really grade games on as far as like A through F or whatever. You know, I don't do that. But this is definitely a great game. If you see it anywhere and it's cheap, buy it. Whether it's on Xbox or PlayStation 2 or PSP, just buy the game. Especially if you like what you see. I was lucky enough to find some poor, some poor sap who, well, they're not a sap. Obviously, they had their reasons for. It. They probably beat the game, you know, lots of times. But for me, this is memories right here. Um, is there anything I didn't show? I don't know, I'm gonna go back to the hideout and find out, because I really haven't been doing anything adventurous other than robbing that store. There's really nothing to do out here, now that, you know, there's no bonus objectives to do. Yeah, so I'm playing on a different file that I also have 100% on. Baseball Furies, that's us. Currently, we got a shout-out. So, I'm pretty sure I showed you everything. Oh, yeah. Little known fact. When you beat the game, all these extras will be in your hideout along with your fellow warriors, including this gank. You're not forgiven. 
So yeah, um, oh yeah, and when you talk to the warriors, let's see, let me see if I can find a random warrior that talks. It's kind of hard because they all look like Furies and... Sounds great. Now all we gotta do is figure out what's worth stealing. Jimmy's hot dog. What about you? You ready? Are any of you guys hungry? Yeah, so you could talk to people and, you know. This sweet shit. The chicks are packed. The chicks are Yeah, and they'll say famous quotes from the movie. What's going on? Union Station, here we come. So, yeah, they'll just say, you know, famous stuff. Um, yeah, so pretty much you get all the girls when... <laughs> and sometimes there's guys here, too. Um, when you win. Okay, so this is the end of my fifth LP. Well, technically it's like three and a half because I didn't finish Need for Speed. Although that's all I plan on doing for that LP. And of course, Star Wars Knights of Old Republic is not finished yet. So I'm going to end the video here and say thank you very much for watching. Oh wait, there's one more thing I want to show you. I want to tell you. Um, well, yeah, there's like one more thing I want to show you. Um, before I do, I gotta quit to do this. Um. Yeah, let me quit to do this. Okay, so when you go back to the main menu, um, there's something called Quick Rumble. You can do that, but if you choose Quick Rumble without loading your information, you're pretty much just playing Rumble mode with the, you know, with the minimalist bare essentials, meaning you won't be playing with as much characters as you unlocked. Oh, okay, and the Exorcist, the trailer. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Um, this is your boy Beastamon. And I will see you for my next LP whenever that is. Thank you for watching. Thank you uh, for subscribing. If you did subscribe, thank you, you know, for watching. Even if you only watched a little bit. Um, I had a lot of fun making this, you know, making these videos for this game. Um, of course, there's lots of other LPs. You shouldn't just watch my videos. Just watch their videos to see, you know. Because my, you know, my way of uh, playing this game isn't always the best way to play it. But that's the way I know how to play it. Um, yeah, so just thank you for watching. Even if you just watched for five seconds, at least you gave me the time of the day. And, you know, kind of invited me on your home computer. Or tablet or whatever you have. Whatever else have you, whether it's a mobile device. So just thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the nice comments I've gotten over the past, you know, almost year now. Just, you know, thank you for watching. This is your boy Beastmon, and I will see you later.